In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we'd like to share with you some tips for using the Video Stabilization Tool. We'll look at what the tool does, how effective it is, and some other considerations that are important when you're using the tool. I have on the screen here a video of a boat on a lake. This was taken without using a tripod, especially if you look at the bottom side of the video. You will notice that we have it relatively stable, but it's not perfect. You watch the difference between the edge of the lake and the bottom of the image, and you can tell it was not shot with a tripod. In fact, oftentimes you can tell the breathing of the camera operator, no matter how good they are, uh, slightly as it adjusts with the movement in the video. So let's see if we can improve that. What I want to do first of all is take this video and I'll take and I'll drag it and put it in the upper right quadrant of the screen. Now I'm going to turn on some title tracks. And in these title tracks we're going to see the difference between the original and application of the video stabilization. So I'm going to take a copy of the video, drag it to track 2, and we'll put that in the upper left quadrant of the screen. Now right now it's the same. We're going to apply video stabilization. There are several ways to get to the tool. I'm just going to click on the magic wand, go to magic fix, and click on video stabilizer. The default is 50%. Now, if you notice, what we have at the same moment in our video are two shots that are slightly different. You notice the ground is trimmed at the bottom. You notice that the rocks are trimmed at the left. Let's look at the results, though. When I play them, At 50% we have much less movement of the camera on the image than we did before. Much more stable. The boat is actually a little bit larger because the image has been zoomed in somewhat. Drag down to track 3 and this time we'll apply the same tool once we uh, Resize the video. Magic fix. I click on the video stabilizer on the left side. Then I'm going to move my slider up to 100%. And we'll, we'll close the window and look at the difference. Now here we're in the same frame. But notice at 100% we've actually zoomed in more on the left, on the bottom, on the right, and on the top. But notice the difference in the stability of the picture. Much more stable than the original and somewhat better than 50%. So you're zooming in on the image and then it's applying this technique. Let's look at one other option that we have here. I'm going to take my uh, boat clip, drag down to track number four, and then we'll go back to the uh, lower right quadrant. And this is, we're going to call this our rotational. Right now it's like the original. If with it's highlighted, I click on the magic wand, do magic fix, video stabilizer and now I've got two other options I want to talk about the first one is used enhanced stabilizer and there's a there's an informational dot there it says this will improve the quality but click here it reminds you that this feature requires more computing power so it recommends that you switch to non real time preview or render the preview for the applied range. Now if you want to switch to non-real time, all you need to do is click on the gear at the top and then click on display. 
and on the second option down mine set to real-time preview you can go to non real-time preview that's how you do that I'll cancel out of there so that's about the last button we're not going to do that let's look at the fixed rotational camera shake when I click on that button it will try to adjust movement from left to right now since we're kind of moving our image from left to right or right to left sideways basically uh, we're going to see how that impacts it when we intentionally go in that direction so we'll start and play and look at the difference between the first one and the rotational one on the rotational one is larger and it tries to restrict the left to right movement. Now this is usually helpful if you if you don't want to move the image left and right but on this particular kind of clip it doesn't really help at all. Uh, it doesn't do anything uh, that enhances the quality of your final project. I would encourage you to experiment with the other option under Magic Fix where you turn on the option that says under video stabilizer where you turn on the option that says used enhanced stabilizer and see if that gets you the kind of results you're looking for but without this enhanced option we still have a pretty good improvement on the stabilization of our video so long as the zooming in is okay in the flow of our project